Hey there! In this video, we'll explore everything you need to know about subforms in Zoho Creator. A subform, simply put, is a form within a form. These forms usually share a parent-child relationship with each other, where the primary form is the main form and the secondary forms are the subforms. Why do we need them? In many business scenarios, there are instances where related data from multiple forms needs to be displayed in a single form. Subforms come handy when there is a one-to-many relationship shared between forms. In simple terms, subforms help you streamline complex data from multiple forms that are related to each other. You can use it across multiple instances, such as in an order form. Subforms can be used to choose multiple products with varying quantities in a single order. Or in an employee registration form, Subforms can be used to collect details regarding personal information or educational qualification. In an asset request form, subforms can help an employee request for multiple assets at once, and many more. Zoho Creator lets you create subforms in two ways based on data modeling. Create a blank one or add an existing form. It is important to define it based on your requirement. When you create a blank one, data entered in the subform is stored in the parent form and gets automatically deleted when the corresponding record is removed from the parent form. Whereas, in subforms created from an existing form, the data entered into the subform is stored in both the parent and the existing form. Let's try and create them to understand it better. Consider an order processing app where the inventory manager needs to update the stocks received each day. Here, we have an inventory restock form for the supplier to add details regarding the supplied products. However, when one supplier supplies multiple products, they'll have to fill the form that many times. This takes up more time and affects efficiency. To streamline the process, we can replace the product details fields with a subform. Go to the editor. First, delete the fields related to product information. Next, from the left panel, drag and drop the subform field. Choose Create a Blank One. Rename the subform and choose the necessary fields. We've added a lookup field to get the product name, a few fields to get the product information, and a file upload field to add the invoice of items delivered. The fields added here will appear as subform columns. Arrange it the way you prefer. Let's see how this looks on the live app. The product details subform appears as a separate section to collect details of multiple products provided by a single supplier. As mentioned, the subform fields appears as different columns. Let's fill in the details. With the help of subforms, the supplier can add multiple product details at once. We've added details of two different products using subforms. On the report, the details of the first column of the subform record are only shown. You can configure the appearance of records as you like. For that, go to the Configure Fields for Web section in the editor. Click on the subform, and its display actions are shown on the right. You can either add other relevant subform fields or enable a link to view them. Let's choose the latter. Now, when you access the live app and click on the subform record, a detailed view of the subform fields is shown. In this way, you can also organize the fields in your report. Let's delete this record and see how that works. When you delete it, the entire data gets deleted from the parent form. Next, let's see how to create a subform based on an existing form. This is an event registration form to collect the details of attendees taking part in the annual corporate summit. 
These fields collect information regarding the organization. We have another form to collect the attendee information. Let's insert this form into the annual corporate summit form. Go to the form builder in the editor. Drag and drop the sub form field. All the forms in the app will be listed in the dropdown. Choose attendee information. Click done. By default, the sub form is hidden from the report's live mode. To add the field to the report, go to configure fields for web from the annual corporate summit report and add it. Let's also enable the link for the detail view of the sub form. Now let's access the live app. The attendees sub form is displayed and its fields are shown as columns on the live app. Let's fill out the form. As you can see, the details are visible on the report. Now let's check the report of the attendee information form. The details that we entered in the sub form are updated on this report as well. The record is deleted from the main forms report. But as you can see, the sub form entries are still accessible in the all attendees report. Zoho Creator also lets you enable a bi-directional relationship between these two forms where the changes made in any of these records will be reflected in the main form report as well. Check out our video on the bi-directional relationship between the sub form and main form to learn about this in detail. Next, let's quickly go through some properties specific to sub forms in Zoho Creator. Sub form display. You can display the sub form as a grid or list. A grid fits the sub form fields within the main form layout and is the default mode. On the other hand, list view pops up the sub form and lists down the fields for data entry. Column freeze. When you have too many fields to fit in the grid view, the first column will be in freeze mode, making the horizontal scroll easier for you. Sorting data. You can either sort the subform data based on a field or let the end user custom sort it while entering data. Besides these, you can perform automation tasks on subforms such as pre-populating fields, validating fields, or even inserting rows to subforms with the help of deluge scripting. Check out our detailed video on this. Link is available in the description box. That's all about subforms. It's as easy as you just saw. You can use them across your form wherever one-to-many data relationships are needed. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.